a CD Hamas in Swiss Parliament with the backgammon case, and here it says Amazon backgammon. Uh, when I saw the Hamas little red backgammon case in the Swiss Parliament, in order to thank the Swiss government for their generous development money to the combined Hamas al Fatah government of Gaza. I immediately wondered if Amazon also delivers to Gaza because I found the exact same Hamas backgammon case on Amazon. Just imagine Amazon taking the Hamas tunnels. Amazons in the Gaza metro, like that little Amazon, little red riding hood dashing through the Gaza metro with Hamas, their red backgammon case, with a public relations present for the Swamplers, and of course also returning with a lot of financial Swampler support for Hamas development. Funny though, because for a fanatic Muslim, games and gambling are strictly forbidden, meaning that the Hamas are not that pious after all. Actually, this picture was taken uh, at, in Gaza. Here's Gaza. Maybe the guys are hiding, you know, far away, or maybe they can't play in the center of town. I don't know. So here it says, "Forbidden games of Islam." It looks like a like a funny game to to you know to have a to have a game, you know, like you know, forbidden games of Islam, but they all do it because none of them has read the Quran. You know, the best thing, to my opinion, is not to pay too much attention to all the things they say, like in this part of the world, because it's, it's, it's irrational, it's, it's, it's contradictional. And by the way, I read the Quran, and yes, I also read the Bible, the Old Testament, and I even read twice the New Testament. But I'm not religious. I don't deny it and the existence of God, or Jesus, or Allah, or Muhammad, or whatever, or Moshiach, I don't deny it. But for me, I never met any of these guys, so I just don't know. And before I know, you know, I, I, well, I don't bet my horses on it, you know. So it says again, forbidden games of the Muslims. And I'd advise, you know, uh, since you're breaking the rules of Islam anyway, you know, why not have a beer next to it? You know, it's so much more fun to play begammon with a beer, you know. And in general, in Gaza, a backgammon case is a multiple purpose utensil, either for past time or to end one's time. And of course, for personal PR gifts to Swaziland. I know for 100% sure that the Swamplers ordered the horrendous October 7th attacks, just like Hitler did his Munich coup d'etat, barely two months after his visit to Swaziland. I know you, Swissy. You won't fool me anymore. As I perfectly well know your history of crime, your history of bloodshed, and your history of deceit. So here again in Swiss Parliament, the Hamas here, and the Swiss Senator with the Beckhamen case, with the PR present, public relations and all that. 2023, the October 7th attack in the JJ base. So here you can see the Gaza metro with a beer at the end of the tunnel, and it says, Allah created the beer's fermentation. You ever thought about that? So another point of contemplation for any fanatic Islamists is the fact that Allah created the fermentation process, creating beer. 
It says Allah's creation, which Allah created. So in a critical moment of anger and murderous fantasies, one single beer will make you chill out, make a difference, relax, and put things into perspective. It also says 11 times in the Quran that Allah's creation is perfect, indicating it a sin and a blasphemy to chop off a chunk of your sexual organ, consequently mutilating Allah's creation, which also counts for the jaywalkers, the Nubians, and 97% of American men. You just don't mutilate God's creation. Final. So, this is a video I made like 11 years ago. Whoa. On my other channel, Gatsefrats, here's the title. Um, my videos don't pop up even if you give in the title because I'm completely, you know, sabotaged and shadow banning, as they call it, or shadow banned. Uh, from all sides, it's censorship, and they, they take away my videos, my channels, and my videos don't get shown, and, you know, so you have to scroll down in the, in the video section until you see this title, and you see this image on my channel here. Gatsefrat with a little doggy doggy there. Next to Amazon's little red riding hood running through the Gaza metro with their red Hamas backgammon cases for international PR gifts, jaywalkers also had to run from all Muslim countries after the foundation of the JJ base in 1948. And as usual, also here, did their usual runner. So in this Takia victim contest, it is not the jaywalkers kicking out the Philistines out of Palestine, but the other way around. So, you better not believe too much of the Philistine Takia victim contest, because they're spreading 100% disinformation, sort of Takia and thousand and one dissimulations. I like facts and only do facts. And I don't like liars, eh, Swissy? This here which you can see on the picture, and it's an original picture, was the Farhut pogrom of 1941 in Baghdad, when the Muslims teamed up with the Nazis and had two Muslim SS divisions in Europe by the names of Hanshar and Skanderbeg. During the Arab pogrom, against jaywalkers, about 1,000 were killed, raped, and butchered. And 150,000 jaywalkers did their traditional runner. Now, only five are left in Iraq. So far, the misleading Philistine propaganda in order to set up the white race against the jaywalkers. We even played by the Western media, as usual, who also believe the Philistine propaganda of their Takia victim contest. So here you see the jaywalkers doing their runner again, and here as well, here the original picture. These are probably the jaywalkers waiting for their end. And it's, it's an original picture eh, with um, all the Muslims with their... This is the Hanjar, like the SS division, you know, the, the, the curbed sword, like Farhut in 1941, teaming up with the Nazis. And, um, well, I don't like Nazis, eh?
So here you can read about the Farhut pogrom. And there were thousands of more pogroms in the uh, Muslim Arabic world. Of which there are no pictures and we never heard of them because uh, they killed everybody. And we only hear something about it because um, Iraq was uh, ruled by the British Empire. That's the only reason. And who finally saved probably the um, what was left of the jaywalkers. You know, there was a suppression and 400 pogromists got killed probably by the British. Right? Definitely not by the jaywalkers because they're good in doing runners. So about a thousand were killed and of jaywalkers. Here it says, by 1941, the approximately 150,000 Iraqi jaywalkers played active roles in many as aspects of Iraqi life, including farming, banking, commerce, and the government bureaucracy. Yeah. So, you know, they're not only bankers, also farmers, jaywalker farmers. Yeah, you know, and it's it's all as it says here, the German embassy and all this, it's it's all related to the Nazis, you know, that they just uh, you know, they it got boosted their morale, you know, of the um here's another picture of it. Um the morale of the uh, Muslims uh, uh, got boosted. Just like the uh, the Swiss inviting the Hamas into Swiss Parliament, they got boosted, you know. And then they started to say, you know, real ugly things and, you know, and they were feeling like, you know, we got the world behind us. Yeah. In 1948, there were 160,000 Philistines in Palestine. And now there are 2 million Philistines living in the JJ base. So here you can see the JJ base. Here, this is the name of the JJ base. I can't, due to the censorship, I can't pronounce this name. You know, like um, the Philistine citizens of the JJ base. So you know, I'm giving you some facts. You know, yeah, you can see that. According. According to the JJ Bay's Central Bureau statistics, the Philistine jaywalker population in 2023 was 2.1 million, representing 21% of the country's population. So one fifth of the JJ Bay's, they're Philistines, you know? I mean, well, you go and look all the. Uh, the false propaganda, you know, by the by the Western media about the poor Philistines and whatever, you know, and all the the false propaganda of the left wingers and you know. Here we would only do facts. I still don't choose any party, you know, for none of them. It's not my problem, really. But I like facts, and I don't like to be lied to. Okay. So, well, you can, you can find it yourself and watch the whole thing. It goes on forever. In Morocco in 1948, there were 265,000 jaywalkers. Now, there are only about 2,000. In Algeria in 1948, there were 140,000 jaywalkers. Now, there are only 50 left. Tunisia, 105,000 in 1948. Now, 1,000 left. So, here is the Wikipedia page of jaywalker exodus from the Muslim world. I hope I can still say Muslim. Is that okay, YouTube? With your censorship, is that good? In our free Western democracy, eh? full of lies and disinformation. Um, yeah, you know, I so you can read the whole thing yourself, you know. 
But this is what I want to show you here. Uh, the statistics, there we go. Yeah. The, it says, the Jay Walker population by country, 1948, 1972, and recent times. Here, here are the countries, country or territory. And also here, in 1948, there were between 758,000 and 881,000 Jay Walkers living in communities throughout the, the uh, let's say, Philistine world. Probably can't say the other word anymore. This world word here. Today, that today there are fewer than eight thousand six hundred in some Philistine states, such as Libya, which was about three percent jaywalker. The jaywalker community no longer exists. In other Philistine countries, only a few dozen to a few hundred jaywalkers remain. So they're roughly one million. They got kicked out, you know. So, so here I, I just shown I just told you Morocco. This is here, 1948. Uh, here, 1972, and here the recent time. So in Morocco, there were 265,000 in 1948. Now there's about 2,000. Algeria, 140,000 in 1948, and now there's only about 50 left. Tunisia. 105,000 in 1948, and now there's only a thousand left. And we go on Libya, 35,000 in 1948, now that's zero. Iraq, I already told you, 140,000 in 1948, and it was in 1941, it was 150,000. Uh, now there's only five left. Egypt, 70 or 80,000, 1948. Now there's only 100. Oh, that's even a, a lot, huh? Yemen and Aden, 63,000, 1948. Now there's only 50. Syria, 30,000 in 1948. Uh, now there's only 100. Lebanon, 20,000 jaywalkers in 1948. Now there's only 100. Bahrain, 600 J walkers in 1948. Now there's only 36. Sudan, 350. Now there's only zero. And uh, so Afghanistan. Wow, there were 5,000 in 1948. I didn't know that. Huh? Interesting. Now, of course, there's zero. Uh, Bangladesh, unknown. Uh, now there's about 100. Uh, Iran, there were 65,000. Well, now there's still 9,000 to 20,000. I knew about this. You know, in, in Iran, it's, um, it's, uh, it's different. It's still quite a lot. A lot of the jaywalkers, they, they went to the JJ base because they got a lot of dollars from the government to go back to the, um, to, um, to the motherland, so to speak. And uh, many of them in Iran, they said, well, we got no problems here and uh, we stay. So that's why in Iran, there's still quite a lot. Iran is different. You know? And uh, in Pakistan, 2,000. Now there's only 900. In Turkey, 80,000. Now there, well, there's still 16,000 in Turkey. And in non Philistine Muslim countries, the total. Well, the rest here. In 48 or 100 uh, are non Philistine Muslim countries. Oh, I don't get this. Um, yeah, so the, and there's much more to read there, you know, but I'm not going to do the whole thing. So, um, these are the uh, the official statistics, you know, and of course in the Takia uh, victim um, strategy, they're not going to tell you about it, you know. It's all disinformation they're giving, right? I don't like that. Um, yeah. 
I, I don't I don't seek any party in one of the groups. I've got that much respect for the jaywalkers as they always do a runner and then they say to the whole of the world, why didn't you save us? Well, you know, it's not our duty to save them. You know, they can save themselves. Everybody has to save himself in a war. And I've got not much respect for the Philistines either because, because of their takia and they're, they're, in their strategy, they're, they're, giving, they're giving out disinformation. I, I don't... So I, I probably can't use the word for that, the the um, the harsher word which I would like to work, to use for it, you know, and I don't appreciate it. So you know, for me, I don't seek any party. I'm just going for the um, for the facts, right? So in reality, millions of jaywalkers kicked out of Muslim countries versus just a handful of Philistines kicked out of the JJ base or Philistine because of their own genocidal aggressions. They were looking for it. These are the real statistics and the rest of the Philistine disinformation on social media is just a backgammon case full of takia dissimulation, trying to weigh down in this Takia victim contest. Well, what else you have in that little red backgammon case, Mr. Hamas? And after the runner, the J runners tried to seek a safe room. Same technique as Anna Frank did in her safe room. And we all know how that ended don't we now? After thousands of years, still the same ancient jaywalker techniques of doing a runner or crawl away in a safe room, proven to be useless ways of self-defense. So here to the left-hand side, you see here the steel, thick steel door of a kibbutz safe room. And here you see the um, the J the the J Walker Bay's um, letters here, yeah. and here it says so it says Kibbutz Save Room, and here it says Anna Frank's Save Room. You know, with with the thick door. This is the original inside. You know, where the or the um, the Save Room door of Anna Frank, which is leading there, or maybe on this side. I don't know to her room while she was hiding, just as today. So it's still the same thing going on, and it just doesn't work. To all people of the world, the only adequate self-defense response is related to this phrase here, which you can read here. I read it for you. If the government doesn't trust me with my guns, I don't trust them with theirs. There's nothing you can do against Granny, not even with a red backgammon case. <laughs>